Hey guys, Charlie Kirkpatrick here. Okay, here's the scenario. You have your dream job at your dream company and your boss has just approached you about some sales reports. She wants to see sales by region, sales by date, and sales by, well, let's say the color of the product sold. And she wants this data, she wants this report, and needs to look decent, oh, by four o'clock in the afternoon. And it's two o'clock now. Now, you would think that in most companies there would be a button that you could push and you could get your routine sales reports. You would think that, but if you did, you would be wrong. Obtaining routine reports and the data that supports those reports is quite a bit harder than it should be in many companies. Now, a lot of people would be very nervous about this assignment, but not you. You're not nervous. In fact, you're cool as a cucumber. You're cool because you know Excel pivot tables, or you're about to. Okay, guys, so here's our data. Now, your IT department has gathered the data together that you need to actually put your report together. And they've given it to you in either a CSV file, or maybe if they're nice, they'll give it to you in an Excel file. But let's just assume you've been able to bring it into Excel here is your sales data. Now, uh, for the sake of this demo, we've got a thousand rows here the, from data that we've collected all over the world. Okay, so let's get going on a uh, on inserting our first pivot table. And oh, oh, by the way, here you can see the data that we have here. Pretty straightforward: name, where you're from, uh, the country, the sales amount over here on the right, uh, the sales date here in the middle, and the month of that date. Uh, in the middle as well here. So let's go ahead and get started on our first pivot table. So the way you get started with the pivot table is first you select the data that you want to include in your pivot table. And we're going to include all this data, let's say. So we're going to click over here in the top left corner of our of our worksheet. We're going to click here to select all of the rows and columns. And then we're going to go to insert pivot table. And there's some different options that we can get into, uh, but we won't today. But uh, nonetheless, let's just take the defaults here. We're going to insert this into a new workbook. And here is the worksheet for our first pivot table. Now, let's assume that we want to see sales by country. Okay, so to get sales by country, let's go up to country and let's pull that down to our rows. And you can see now an alphabetical list of all of our countries. Now let's take the sales amount and let's pull that down under values. And oops, look, it, it gave you a count of sales instead of the sales amount. Now th this is a default, and there's ways to work around this default, but that's another that, that's another lesson. But nonetheless, no issue here. What you do is you go down here to this drop down, select value fields and uh, value field settings and hit sum okay and there you have your summary sales by country in the alphabetical order of that country now that uh, that's that that is a report and it might be valid but let's just assume you want to see the top producing countries the top sales countries uh, at the top. That is, uh, you want this in descending order by the amount of the sales. So, how do you get that? Well, you can go over here to your sum sales amount column, right mouse click, click on sort, and sort largest to smallest. And there you can see your top sales countries are at the, at the top and uh, all the way down to the bottom here where you have uh, I guess the Republic of Georgia. Now, this isn't the greatest looking numbers here. I, I want to see I want to see this with commas and uh, currency indicators. So I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to select my uh, dollar figure here. I don't want to see decimal places. That's just superfluous here. So I click here, and just like that, you have your report of sales by country in descending order of the amount of sales for that country. Okay, pretty cool stuff here, pretty neat stuff. So now let's assume that uh, instead of seeing sales by country, 
we want to be we want to look at sales by date okay pretty easy stuff here just go down to your country field move that out of the rows section here like this and take sales date and move it down and then you will see a report by day in chronological order of um, of the amount of sales total sales by day now let's 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 say for a minute that we want to see well which was our which was our largest selling dates so you can do that by simply uh, doing the same thing we did with the country report let's uh, go over here under sum of sales amount and uh, right mouse click click on sort click largest to smallest which would be descending order and uh, you can see that on January 27th that was our largest sales date followed by uh, what is that July 2nd so uh, pretty cool stuff there that you can do uh, very quickly uh, with uh, with the with the pivot table function here sales by date may be a bit too much information why don't we summarize it by month let's just see what our sales by month look like so to do that let's remove sales date here and instead let's insert the sales month where's month here it's in here somewhere there we go sales month there bring that down and you have sales month and this is by of course chronological uh, month again if you wanted to see what your what your busiest months were let's come here sort it by largest to smallest and you can see that November is our biggest sales month and uh, looks like September is our smallest sales month so um, there you have a, a, a pretty nifty report of sales month or sales by month now here here's something that uh, I wanted to show you the default labels here may not be appropriate well you can very easily just rename these you can rename these to month and let's just rename this to total sales okay and let's put this back in chronological order here and um, well, there's a couple of ways you can do that you can uh, sort it here A to Z and there you have uh, there you have all of your months now you'll notice that there is a blank here quite often Excel will insert this blank at the very end of your of, of your raw data to eliminate that you can click on this little icon here and scroll to the bottom here and eliminate all of your blanks and there you have only those rows that have a, a, a month value in them if you wanted to limit this report to certain months you could do that if I only want to see uh, let's say January February and March uh, my first quarter uh, I could come here and just select January February March and there I only have January February March so a lot of flexibility here enormous capabilities in this product I, I can't I, I really can't say enough about it it, uh, it is an indispensable tool for uh, uh, for you, your use, the better you can understand pivot table, the better off you're going to be. Thank you.